Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I'm from the class of 2023. On behalf of the Gold Humanism Honor Society, I would like to welcome you to the beginning of your clinical year. This is such an exciting and unique time in your medical training and I'm so excited to see how each and every one of you will grow in your physicianship throughout the upcoming year. You're gonna learn so much from your mentors, your colleagues, your patients, and even yourself. And this is going to be the year that you get to shine as the student doctors that you came here to be. With that said, it is completely acceptable to also have some anxiety about stepping into the clinical space. One of my classmates, Nikolai Haroon, highlights the very real duality of being a medical student during this period of time. In his letters from the clinic, he talks about the bolts, both excited and nervous, both tired and unable to sleep, both progressing and struggling, and both fulfilled and overwhelmed. As a student clinician, you are allowed to feel all of these things and more. So today, in hopes of easing some of these emotions that might be running through your mind and maybe even inspiring some new ones, it would be my pleasure to share a few excerpts and advice from the class of 2023's Letters from the Clinic to you. Lexi Ross says, there are no magic words to prepare you for the adventure that lies ahead. So I'd like to encourage you to remain open to anything this wild ride might throw your way. It is a privilege to bear such intimate witness to the journeys that our patients take. Though this year is only freshly out of my rearview mirror, I recognize that it is an honor to have formed these connections and to have the privilege to care this much. Evan Cornish reflects, the point of medical training is not to impress your peers or your attending, but to impress upon the patient that they are being cared for. The most extraordinary thing about all this anatomy and physiology that we learn, especially when overlaid onto a person rather than a test question, is its ability to show us the thousands of things we share in common with each other person. From the wise words of Sophie Sugar, be kind to yourself. Be kind to your patients. Be kind to your team. As a wonderful mentor once told her, kindness is easy to administer and exceptionally well tolerated. My own personal advice is to use this year to find out the kind of physician that you want to be. This is where you'll learn to take criticism, figure out your preferences for inpatient versus outpatient, and try your hand at procedural-based specialties. You won't love everything, but you'll find yourself gravitating to some things more than others. Listen to yourself. If you have significant others or really honest roommates, listen to them because they will see the rotations where you're just naturally brighter and more excited to learn and more energized. And on the other hand, they'll probably also notice the rotations where you may just need a little more space to process things. And that is completely okay too. Somewhere along the way, you'll have a better idea of where you're supposed to fit in. I hope this video is helpful, or in the very least, I hope it's a small reminder that while this upcoming year feels daunting, the people who have walked those steps before you are thinking of you, willing to support you, and will be rooting for you every step of the way. If at any time you should need any help, we are only one email away. With love and care, the Gold Humanism Honor Society.